Yeah, they, they, they. Okay, they, so go ahead, step out. The, no, 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 I, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. No, I'm telling you, step out the door. But why would I? Why, 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 why would I? So we can deal but with why? It. But why? Tell no, me why. I'm telling you to step out the door. But that's not a legal order. This is a public I'm building. You to step out the door so we can deal this with is it. a now public you're building. Now you're My name is James Gibson, and I spent 29 years, four months, and seven days in falsely, in, falsely in prison, and my story is coming to you. On this channel. This sort of Well, you don't got no gun. I don't want to do that. You got to be wearing these guy on with gloves that's got that? Let me go see. What we got going on over here, Serge? Just giving out information about the uh, COVID stay-at-home stuff. Yeah, I saw you doing it with no gloves on and no no protective gear. You didn't have no mask on or anything. Yeah, the city hasn't provided us with that. So. Oh man, but you don't want to be this stuff out to other people. Now you're disseminating that information. Well, we've, been, we've been using hand sanitizer before we handed it out. Oh yeah, yeah, that doesn't work. That, that that's not that's not foolproof. So what do you, uh, wear your mask. I want you guys to wear your mask, wear your gloves. Don't I be giving stuff one. to the people. I wish I had one to wear. I had the, um, at the gas station on Chicago and Hamlin, and they were handing out uh, papers about the, about the, about the, what, the hoof and mouth disease. So, but none of them had actual PPE. No, no, no one had gloves on, like your boy here. I mean, this is an epidemic. People are losing their job. This is no joke. And the first responders are the ones that have all the PPE. So, you know, uh, like McDonald's donated a million. They donated 120,000. That's beyond the fact that they're the only ones that get them, first off. And none of them are wearing them, but they're handing out information. Look it, your boy's got it. Look it, I'm official like a referee with a mother whistle. West side, home of Ronnie Fields. But I gotta find out why they're out there passing out information with no gloves on. I don't know what the, okay, here we go. We got this guy, put on the lights. Uh, probably wants to arrest me so he can hand me a paper. Whew. Man, that was a long walk. See, it says area four, but there's no areas anymore. So now they got to get rid of all this stuff. Like all the, all the a areas are where the, the sergeants, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the detectives work out of uh, my John Birch torture case was out of area two and area three. This is area four, but they don't even do that anymore. Get, let me in here. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, okay. Can I talk to the sergeant, lieutenant? Um, he's busy right now, may I help you? Yeah, yeah, they're handing out, uh, they're handing out stuff with no gloves, no PPE. They're actually handing out the coronavirus to people over on uh, Chicago and Hamlin. It's terrible. You should, they, none of them have gloves on or anything, but they're actually handing out the paperwork. They're actually giving people the virus. Where is that? That's at Hamlin in Chicago. There's uh, four or five squad cars there. This is my guy, though. I know him. I seen him the other night. I was talking to him. All right. I'm taking care of her right now. Okay, yeah. Take your time, sweetie. If, if you can, can you step outside? Can you step I got to go outside? I'm you six feet. Have Yeah, yeah, I'm six feet. I'm six feet. I'm six feet. I'm good. I'm not. I have no. I have no interest in videotaping her, anyways. Now we're going. Now I can't even be in the police station. But they're handing out stuff at Madison. This is all crazy. I got to talk to somebody, dude. They're literally running up to people and giving them the virus. But I can't be in here. Six feet. I'll straight at the back of the lady. I'm nowhere near her. I'm a good 15 feet away from her. These are my, I go, I seen this guy the other night we were talking to him. He knows me. Sarge, when you get a chance, I know you guys are running the city over there. That's actually a lieutenant. That might be a lieutenant, my man over there. That's the best sergeant, and uh, the guy with the, he's actually a nice guy. Sir, I'm going to have to actually leave. 
Why? What did I do? No, I need to talk to the. Okay, I'm a member of the media. What do you? Why would I have to leave? Okay, so she, you have to take. You have to step out because she's given a report. Okay. And the information is in the air. We don't want you recording her. Okay. That's, okay. That's uh, why we need you to leave out. Well, no, no, no. I'm allowed okay, to stay. No, I'm a member of the media. Go ahead, leave out. No, no. I'm a member of the media. I'm allowed to stay here. We're finish our police work with her. Okay, go ahead. And then when we're done with her, we'll call you back in if whatever we need to do. No, no, no. I'll be shy. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, but you said there's five police officers over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you needed to talk, you talk to somebody over on scene. Yeah, they, they, they. Okay. They, so go ahead, step out. The no, no, no. I, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. No, I'm telling you, step out the door. But why would I? Why? 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 Why would I? So we can deal but with why? Her. But why? Tell me why. I just told you. This is a public building. I just told you, step out. But that's not a. That's not a. That, that's not a legal order. That's not a legal order. That's just a request. We. No, I'm telling you to step out the door. But that's not a legal order. This is a public I'm building. Step out the door so we can deal this with is her. a public. Building. No, this is a public building. You have to give me a lawful. You have to give me a lawful reason. Look, I'm telling you. I just told you. We got to deal with this lady right here. She's a private citizen. She don't have to. She don't want her stuff on the business on the internet. She, okay, so you have no, to. No. You have to create. You have to create that. You're in public. I'm creating that. There, 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 there's no. There's no expectation of privacy in public. There's absolutely no expectation of privacy in public. If. Hey, Sergeant Young. So, can I talk to you? So, what should I do with you guys? To be honest, Sarge, I'm a member of the media. And, uh, we're in the, so what we are in here, this is a public space, this is a public area. And the law says if you want privacy, you have to create it. Anything in public, there's no expectation of privacy. The uh, Supreme Court has ruled on that. Now, if you want, if if she's a victim and you want to take her, then you have to take her into out there. It, you have to create that privacy. It's not, it's not my responsibility to create that privacy. So I don't have to leave a public area because you need privacy. So if she, if you need that, you have to create that privacy. That's how that works. This is a public area open to the public. This is the people's building. I'm a member of the media. The, I have the right to record my public officials in the course of their duties. So anyways, this is why I'm here. Uh, there's, there's gentlemen over at, uh, if you could explain that to the officer when you get time, when I leave, I don't have time to do right now, but uh, there's five or six officers, uh, Sergeant um, Urban, he's handing out um, information, uh, actual coronavirus information. I saw him the other day, this is the actual nice gentleman. Uh, and uh, he's, he, they have no gloves on, no, no mask, no nothing. But they're actually going up to people in a heavily populated area. There's a lot of people there at Hamlin. And, uh, and uh, they're, they're just, it seems like they're giving them the virus. Does, I mean, does that make sense to you? And I asked him, like, who, who, who did this in roll call? He said, well, there's two lieutenants on it. I said, what's the lieutenant's name? He said, well, uh, it came from uh, 35th and State. So I don't know, does Cato know this? Does uh, Commander Spencer, uh, does the new superintendent, who's in charge of saying, here, take this whole stack of papers, no gloves, no nothing on, and uh, you, a first responder, so you've done with, dealt with the tons of people, and he's dealt with tons of people, and now you talk to each other, so that just extrapolates it. And, uh, you know, I'm not an English teacher, so I don't know, the numbers could be in the millions, but why is that being done? Does that seem, are you, so you're not aware of this at all, being the, being the desk sergeant on 11 on this shift, you weren't aware that there's sergeants out there handing out information without any PPE. So are you guys not given uh, masks and gloves? We're, we're given masks and gloves, yes. So there is masks and gloves here today to be given for any officer or sergeant that wanted them to go out there. So it's their decision whether or not to take them. Okay. About the uh, COVID stay-at-home stuff. Yeah, I saw you doing it with no gloves on or no no protective gear. You didn't have no mask on or anything. Yeah, the city hasn't provided us with that, so. Oh, I'll be giving stuff one. to the people. I wish I had one to wear. I uh, yeah. Well, come on. Okay. Then we're getting two different stories. No, because he said there was none, and that seems ridiculous. Because I mean, we were, I was in an impoverished community, and everybody in the parking lot had them on. So, do you remember me from the other night? Not dressed as well as we were the other night. <laughs> well, I, I don't remember how I was dressed, but, but I remember a very expensive hat. Very 
Y yeah, yeah. I, oh, it was a White Sox hat. And you were saying I was on the north side, but we were actually on the west side, so it's kind of in the middle. Actually, we were actually closer. I was thinking about that after we left. We were actually closer to the uh, here, here, U.S. Listen, cellular. This, this is the problem. Okay. This young lady here wants to make a report. And I, 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 I understand you're that. You're live streaming, right? No, no, I'm not. I'm not live streaming. I'm standing. Well, you're recording, right? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. She has a right to record. I understand. No, I, under, I understand that completely. Fine. And I'm not even listen, good. Listen, give me a minute. Okay, go, ahead, go, go. She just, she just wants to do the report. Yes, I understand. Give that us, completely. Give us, what, you need 15 minutes? 30 yeah. Minutes. 30 okay. Can, you, can, come back can I just have the piece of paper and I'll leave? I mean, I don't. I want her to be able to do whatever she wants. I have no desire to, to, to the piece of paper that they're handing out. Do you have an extra copy of it? No, I don't. Actually, that that is a. I'll tell you where that comes from. I know exactly where it came from. It came from our headquarters. Okay. It's a chain of command. My suggestion is go to 35th Street and inquire about that. Okay. That's what you need to do. Thank you, Sergeant Robinson. Robinson. Thank you, Sergeant Robinson. And and right. uh, off your request, I'll do that. I mean, he, I think. I mean. But I, I have no desire. She, I mean, she's a victim. I don't want to. Still got the nice shoes on. Though. I got no. These are my these are my bad hand. shoes. I was in. I was. I was just terribly today. That's what you, today you are. I was just terribly today. I I wasn't expecting that. I didn't expect to see that. But I'm a member of the media, so uh, I come in second. I mean, I'm right behind the uh, ABC Seven. Is the only one that beats me. I beat Fox. Everybody else, I beat them. Anyways, thank you, uh, Sergeant Robinson. Have a good night. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. Uh, you heard it from me. And uh, hold on, let me get a. I gotta get a, a thumbnail for this one. Me and uh, Sergeant Robinson there. There you go. Thank you guys. So that's a, so what, how that works is that's a, this is a um, this is a public space. It's not my requirement. It's not my duty. Uh, if she is a victim and she, you believe she has some kind of victim rights, you have to create that uh, space. You have to create that distance. You have to create uh, uh, that separation. Not me. This is a public area. Now, you're saying, okay, turn off your phone. Okay, I turn off my phone. I can still hear it with my ears. So it, it, it's not a matter of, it's, it, if I turn off my phone, I can still hear and see everything she's saying. So I still know it. So it, the law does not, the law does not dis, the, 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 uh, uh, distinguish between what you can hear, what you can see, and what you can videotape. The law does not distinguish between the three. You know what I'm saying? So if I were to turn off my phone like they wanted, they would have allowed me to still stay there. But then I would have heard everything she was saying. So it, it has a, it's not a matter of that. It's just that's the trick they always try to use. But I, I already know the statutes. I already know the rulings. There's no expectation of privacy in public. That is a lobby. It's a public area. I have a right to be there. You cannot expect privacy in a public area. They're antonyms. You can't expect to be in a private conversation in a public setting. That's like the doctor coming into the waiting room, talking to the patient, and then getting mad because other people are hearing. You have to take that. Take that person. If you believe there's a, a, a reason for that person to uh, be in private, then you have to create that privacy. It's not my responsibility to create that privacy. It's not my responsibility to leave a public building because you want privacy. That's not on me. The onus is not on me. The onus is on you. You have care, custody, and control of this building. This is a people's building. It's not your building. It's my building. It's our building. It's everybody's building. And we have given you care, custody, and control. So it's your responsibility to create that privacy, not mine. So stop telling me to leave a public area. This, we, I might as well have been in a park and you tell me to leave a park. I have every right to be in there. I'm the media. I'm reporting on a, a, a very important a news story in which you guys were handing out uh, information with no gloves on. It's, it was just ridiculous. And now they're saying that they have gloves. So who's lying here? I got to tell... I gotta go back over there and find out who's lying. Story's not done yet, guys. Story's not done yet. Anyways, uh, anyways, uh.